Hey, what's up guys? I don't really do face videos, but this is kind of a special type ordeal. Um, sorry if I look like I just ran a marathon because I just got done filming the last video I just posted. But anyway, I'm here to give you some insight on skateboarding. Just some tips and tricks you can use to help yourself out. Um, more like hacks. Stuff that really can really help you with filming, skateboarding, just pretty much skateboarding in general. Um, one of the main things people have problems with is uh, learning switch, and I know I had a huge problem learning switch. Switch and nollie were like, uh, it was like learning a whole other sport. But anyway, one thing that really helped me was I just I grinded it out one day, or actually it was one week. I just skated switch for uh, like a whole week and ended up learning a whole bunch of tricks. Once you once you start to like get past your uncomfortable point, it just it just becomes like really familiar. Like you, the board just gets like you just get really used to your board to skating switch and nollie. And um, one of the tricks that I recommend learning uh, if you're trying to do switch and nollie tricks would be uh, nollie shoves, uh, nollie front shoves, switch front shoves, just just pretty much the basics. One of the one of the tricks that took me just like maybe like two or three minutes to do was uh, switch 180, and it's just all about switching that foot over, that back foot, just getting a nice turn with it. But yeah, it's just kind of really a pain in the ass to try and learn switch and nollie, especially when you're not really that good, you know? Um, and I also recommend, if you're not the greatest at skateboarding, I recommend mastering your tricks before you start to learn like other stuff, such as like getting a kick foot before you get a tray foot, you know? Just pretty much the simple stuff first. And that's another um, tip that you could do. Get your basic tricks down. I promise you, it will help you out so much. Especially if you wanted to skate like stairs or like a rail or something. Once you have your basic tricks down, you can pretty much do them off of anything, well, most stuff. But uh, yeah, that was one of the main things that I learned. I just uh, grinded out heel flips, I grinded out 180s, nollie 180s, just all that. Ended up just becoming like easy as hell for me. Um, another thing that really helps people is uh, filming. When you're filming your uh, skateboarding, especially if you're using like your phone or, well yeah, usually your phone is actually probably only works for a phone. but. Yeah, if you're using your phone for filming skateboarding, I know there's a lot of good quality uh, uh, type phones out there, you know, that film in like 1080p, all that stuff. And um, here's one thing that really helps you out if you don't have that much space and you want to get a lot of uh, clips, is this right here. Now this, this is a Bluetooth USB. You could put clips onto the USB uh, via Bluetooth. All you have to do is just turn it on and connect to it, Bluetooth on your phone, and you can just put whatever you want on there. And it's not just for skateboarding, you could also put TV shows or whatever you want on there pretty much. And it's really easy because you can actually, it actually has a USB on it too. So if you wanted to stack up a whole bunch of clips and just throw them into your computer, you can just plug this in and just pull them all off. It's so easy. This helped me out so much. It was just like, I never had to like go back, uh, like cr or, uh, trim out a clip and then delete it and have to go through the whole like bullcrap all over again. But uh, yeah. Another thing that really helped me out with skateboarding was I just pushed myself. I, I went past my uncomfortableness and just went for it. And that really helped a lot. I know it sounds really cheesy and everyone's going to tell you this, but it's so much like, so like it's the best thing ever. It will just help you so much because once you get past your uncomfortable point, you know that you could just do it again and you know that you could pretty much get the same trick. It's just, it's just showing yourself that you can do it and it, it's so like helpful you don't even know it sounds so like cliche like everyone would tell you this but honestly just push yourself grind yourself just try the same trick and until you get it or just or until you get close to it because once you get close once you stick that trick it's just like oh the whole world's over i'm so close to this it's just like everything goes away and you're so focused on that same trick and uh, there's a high possibility you're gonna land it, especially if you stick it and the feeling that you get after trying the trick for so long is just like, ah, oh, it's amazing. It's like if you haven't eaten in like a week and you just got like a giant meal, you know, it's awesome. And I know these are not really like the most like advanced tips that I can tell you, but trust me, these are the ones that are going to help you out the most. And um, another thing I wanted to say was um, when you're trying to learn a new trick and it's just like, oh, I can't even get close to this trick, you want to commit. When, when you do the trick, just try it as hard as you can just keep trying it and trying it and trying it and I will promise you eventually you will either stick it get close to it and then after that your mind you're just gonna tell yourself oh I have this trick it's so easy and it's just gonna 
it's just gonna work for everything. Like, that's what really helped me out was actually uh, trying to do 50-50 down rails, like circular rails. I was so scared for that so long, for so long. It was just like, one day I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna learn this trick. And I just went for it. Maybe I fell once or twice, but you know, it's worth it in the end because now you have 50-50 on the rail. It's just, it's just the best thing that you can do for yourself. It's just push yourself, motivate yourself. Just wake up in the morning, drink a monster or eat cereal, whatever you do, and just, just get out there and go for it. Especially when you're having one of those days where it's like, oh, I'm gonna have a skate day, you know, I'm just gonna skate the whole day and just like learn a whole bunch of new stuff, maybe film and all that. Just push yourself. It, it, when, you, when you're trying the same trick and you're pushing yourself and you're like, it's like a challenge for you, it, you're gonna have way more fun trying that than sitting there like doing the tricks that you know how to do, like, like just doing that over and over, you know, just boink, oh, I did this trick, oh, I did this trick, like, tricks you've done a thousand times. It's just like, once you land one trick that you've never landed before, it's just like, oh my gosh, like, yes, it's the best feeling. And, uh, sorry if these tips were really cliche and most people, like, probably film, like, talk about these tricks, but, you know, this is one, one full vid, you know, I'm, I may or may not edit it, but I'm trying to get this to go the whole way. But anyway, yeah, I um, hope you guys have a good day, and I hope you can learn from these tricks like I did and just push yourself. I, I can't stress that enough. Just just get out of your comfort zone and just do it. Just try as hard as you can. That's one of the main things with skateboarding. You just want to try, motivate yourself, progress, and just keep going. Same with any sport. You're not going to get anywhere unless you practice. But yeah, guys, sorry. I must have tried to end this video like like a minute ago, but yeah. Hope you guys have a good day. Subscribe. Drop a like if you enjoyed. I hope you guys learned from this. Have a good day. Peace.